you will be hard pressed to tell voters who lived through four years of Donald Trump that the they don't like Joe Biden for a lot of reasons, but I don't think there are a lot of voters who think that he is angrier than Donald Trump. Angrier? He's a pretty ornery guy. A human. <laughs> Wow, that is some gaslighting bullshit. The idea that Joe Biden is some truth-telling, stoic, nice grandpa is one of the many fake facades that our media presents in place of the truth for whoever the current Democrat standout is. Exactly like we've been seeing them do for Kamala Harris over the past few weeks. <laughs> Wasn't she the border czar over all of this? She was never the border czar! Don't you have all these articles saying she was? In this document from congress.gov? No. The media loves to pretend that Joe Biden is some nice, unifying family man in his golden years. But CNN's Scott Jennings completely nukes that alternate reality, and his cohorts are not happy about it. It's very entertaining, so check it out, then stick around because I'm going to bring receipts to prove that they are all the Orwellian communists we know they are. But first, Chuck Norris. Have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? I definitely have. He's one of my all-time favorites. Well, yesterday, I saw a video that he recently made, and I was shocked. He's in his 80s, and yet he's still kicking butt, staying active, and working out. Honestly, it just makes me feel really bad about my own health. What's even more shocking to me is that in this video, he's talking about how he's stronger, he's working out longer, and he has all this extra energy for his grandkids. As a stay-at-home dad with four kids, this is something I need in my life. He did this by making one change, and he says that he feels like he's in his 50s. His wife started of doing the same thing and she says she's never felt better she says she feels 10 years younger her body looks leaner and she has energy all day again i need this chuck made a special video that explains everything so make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com forward slash drone or by clicking the link below in this video i promise it will change the way you think about your health once again that's chuckdefense.com forward slash drone you can find the link in the description or pinned comment you're not gonna believe how simple this is. Just a reminder, the legendary Chuck Norris is 80 years old and has way more energy than I do. He discovered that he could create dramatic changes in his health by simply focusing on three things that sabotage our bodies as we age. Watch this method by clicking on the link in the description or pinned comment. Thanks a lot. Trump is handing her this contrast on a silver platter, it seems. Well, I mean, are, are you saying that there are people that the Democratic Party doesn't want to beat down? I mean, Joe Biden's been one of the orneriest presidents we ever had. I mean, this is not an uplifting guy. Oh, and, wait, and, <laughs> Scott, come on. So, I mean... So, wait, so you're, you're saying that Donald Trump's rhetoric is comparable to Joe Biden's rhetoric? Give me uh, a break. Uh, that doesn't pass the smell uh, test. Not even Joe, close. Joe Biden on. has been one of the orneriest, angriest presidents we've ever... I get it, too. Yeah, I, but Scott, Scott, I mean, when, when, Scott, when, when, when Trump is, is calling Kamala Harris a communist, you don't actually believe... Does anybody believe that? Yeah. Catherine, I hear, I read your piece and, and I heard you just mention it. The federal ban on price gouging for groceries. You are skeptical of this, why? Well, first of all, nobody can explain what price gouging means. It also would be very bad for markets. We've seen this kind of thing tried in lots of other countries before. Venezuela, Argentina, the Soviet Union, etc. What do these things have in common? If Calling Kamala Harris a communist. You don't actually believe. Does anybody believe that? Yeah, people believe it because a lot of the rhetoric that Kamala Harris uses sounds very communist. To be about a goal of saying everybody should end up in the same place. And since we didn't start in the same place, some folks might need more. Equitable distribution. Giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. It will directly benefit black children, black families, black homeowners. I will snatch their patent so that we will take over. And yes, we can do that. We understand equality is important, but not everybody starts out on the same base. It's if calling Kamala Harris a communist. You don't actually believe. Does anybody believe that? Everyone! So spare me the pearl clutching about calling Kamala Harris a communist, especially when the left, Democrats, and Joe Biden have been calling their opponents much worse for a lot longer. From racist, bigot, white supremacist, Nazi, semi-fascist, a threat to democracy. 
Uh, I mean, I don't think she's a registered communist. I think her policies could be. I think her policies could be mixed up for countries that have tried it and doesn't turn out very well. Look, yeah. if you just like the Washington Post said the other day, if you don't want to be called a communist, maybe don't install their economic platform. I didn't I, write it, but they posted. Yeah. This is so interesting. But this is so interesting because this kind of goes to the point you were raising about Trump giving him this argument on a silver platter. Like Scott, you're a super smart guy. I've heard you make some Agreed. really compelling. I've heard you make some really compelling Opinions arguments. Vary, I... I've heard you make some really compelling arguments. This one doesn't do it. And so to watch, kind of watch the Republican Party follow behind Donald Trump, who is, you know, throwing these kind of, like, uh, ugly attacks oh, look, that don't I, really resonate with people, because they sort of go, all right, you, I, th- you, I'm open to I, an I, argument. I, I, have to, I have to say, Scott, I, I mean, honestly, I mean, this is you will be hard pressed to tell voters who lived through four years of Donald Trump that the they don't like Joe Biden for a lot of reasons, but I don't think there are a lot of voters who think that he is angrier. <laughs> camp. No, uh, I didn't say that. Look what I said. Go back and read what I said. That is an interesting reading of English. You, you, I assume you got in the, in the journals because you like to write. They have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your judgment. That public is public. not the judgment concerns. of the press. They express concerns about your mental acuity. They say that you are too old. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. Sir, do you have any regrets? Talking to you guys. So how did that account to a constructive meeting as President, President Putin? Right? You don't understand that. You're in your own business. If there's some... Sir, I'm not giving right. up on the answer. Don't Sorry, poke that in my face, okay, buddy? Two-thirds say they Read don't. Read the poll. Read the poll, Jack. You guys are all the same. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. A human... <laughs> <laughs> what we're seeing now is the beginning or the death knell of an extreme MAGA philosophy. It's not just Trump, he said. It's the entire philosophy. It's like semi-fascism. MAGA Republicans don't just threaten our personal rights and economic security. They're a threat to our very democracy. I don't want to hear any more of these lies about reckless spending. We're changing people's lives. Since that day, more than 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Collectively, to date, they have been sentenced to more than 840 years in prison. I mean, Joe Biden's been one of the honoriest presidents we ever had. I mean, this is not an uplifting guy. Oh, and, wait, and, <laughs> Scott, come and, on. And so, I mean, You're saying that Donald Trump's rhetoric is comparable to Joe Biden's rhetoric? Give me uh, a break. Uh, that doesn't pass the smell uh, test. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> That's why channels like this are so important. I'm doing my very small part to remind people of inconvenient realities that our media would rather people forget. So if you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Or the very easiest way to support this channel is to just hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more.